I don't need to pretend that we're living in some alternate reality where everything is fine. I'd rather explore the facets of this time in history. It's a lot of news all of the time. It's like drinking from a fire hydrant. The number of deaths here in the United States has just crossed 100,000. One in seven Americans will likely know someone who has died from this disease. Massive crowds swarming cities across the country. Decrying police brutality against black Americans. I don't know why the National Guard has moved into position. We have a great country. That's my thoughts. There's so much coming at you so often where literally something that was true six minutes ago because now there's a tweet is no longer true. <laughs> Our regular setup for the show is we have the show intro, we do a first act. Act one is purely topical. It's whatever's happened in the last week. Like everyone, I'm feeling angry and devastated that our country continues to fail to confront police brutality against black people. It is so frustrating that this keeps happening. We decide what the act one is going to be in a free for all slack meeting that is aggressive and insane. And hopefully we come out of it with an idea. When a pitch comes in, I create a research packet that's just with very detailed information about what the pitch is, what ideas can be so that the writers can read it and create an outline. Me and Mike are the ones who outline what the show is going to be, what we're going to try to say. And then they put in the jokes and, you know, make it funny and relevant. The only conversation in which we should be using the phrase bad apples is when we talk about Red Delicious. They are awful. Like, I can give you all of this information that we have, but if the writers don't make it funny, you're not going to pay attention. The writers break off. They all write a piece of Act One. And uh, either us or the supervising writer, Joe Grossman, assemble that. Chris and I sort of go through it. We smooth it out as much as we can. And then we have a read through of that script. Sam sort of reads things alone in her room um, and like shuts the door while her kids are learning. <laughs> she quietly whispers whatever curse words we've written into the script, which is a thing that is new. Chris and I and some of the research team and sometimes some of the writers will rewrite it that night to try to implement Sam's notes, uh, fact check notes. Our fact checker goes through every single word that comes out of Sam's mouth. I don't think that we ever like skimp on the facts or play it loose with the facts in order to do the comedy. The fact checking at Full Frontal is like much more serious than a, a lot of print publications that I've worked at. We turn the script at the end of the day on Monday and mm -hmm. then Sam usually films on Tuesday. We really hammer out more what the show's going to be ahead of time because of the shooting restraints with Sam in the woods. We'll be right back. Can you turn your lawnmower off, sir? I feel like we use every single device in, in every single platform. We zoom to the Google to the Slack. I never really know where my next meeting's going to be. And then I just hope somebody sends me a link. And then I just have these like night panics where I'm like, am I the person who's supposed to make the link? And so that's been a really challenging thing from home is figuring out how to do those communications. But through like, oops, sorry. Right now, we're entirely weather dependent. So. I'm looking at the forecast to see when we can shoot our show. And really, it's going to be a big problem if I look at Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and it's all rain. What the f*** is happening? I think the writers are doing great. What's happening all over the world is historic, and it is vital that we talk about that on this show. And as always, they're just nailing the tone exactly right. and overcoming whatever personal anxieties they're feeling in the moment, as we all are. It's not about saying everything's great now, you guys are going to be okay, but it's about validating, yes, you felt bad, and it's okay that you felt bad, and you're not exaggerating your feelings. We're right there with them, and we're just as frustrated about everything that's going on, and we're just as angry. And I think our show has always embraced like a certain degree of activism, and that makes me really proud. I don't know if our show gives people hope. I think we're just, we just trying to be honest, you know? Yes. <laughs>